The new iteration of 2v8 mode comes out tomorrow, so let's talk about everything you need to know. Starting off, we're going to talk about cages. So instead of um, a survivor being stomped into a cage, instead they're going to have to be picked up. And this gives flashlights more of a prominent, I guess, thing in 2v8 mode because before flashlights couldn't really do much to save a survivor. So they did bring back flashlight saves. So before, um, when a killer got near a cage, the cage would teleport to another part of the map. And this was causing some issues because the survivor would be right there and then it would get moved. So to fix this instead, if the survivor is nearby, the cage won't get moved. And when the killer is nearby, you unhook 15% faster. Next up, we have generator. So generator repair speeds are reduced by 1% for each generator completed and generator repair speeds are increased 1% for each cage state. Now, personally, I don't know if the 1% is going to do as much as they think it's going to do, but I guess we'll see when it plays out. I would like to see a little bit higher percentages in the future, depending on how this iteration goes. In addition, generator auras are only revealed to killers within a certain range, and two survivors working on the same generator will be revealed to killers with no range limit. The new map additions are going to be Family Residence, Dead Dog Saloon, Father Campbell's Chapel, Rancid Abitur, can't say that one, and the Records Yard map. Now, for the killers, we're getting the Blight, so he has an increased rush speed, an increased slam duration, and an increased turn rate. Also, Blight can bounce off of their killer counterpart. Next, we have the Spirit, and she has increased phase duration, increased phase recharge rate, and increased phase movement speed. And I'm very excited about this because I do play some spirit from time to time. Last, we have the Death Slinger. So he has decreased reload time and increased reel speed. Now let's get into killer classes. In addition to the new iteration, any killer can run any class they want, just like any survivor could have ran any class they want, but two killers cannot run the same class. So starting off, we have Shadow. So when within 32 meters of a teammate, you gain undetectable, injuring a survivor transfers the undetectable effect to your teammate instead. The ability has a cooldown of 30 seconds. Also, when your teammate initiates chase with a survivor, reveal the survivor for an additional 4 seconds. Let's move on to Brute. So, perform the break action 25% faster. Doing so grants a teammate within 32 meters 10% haste for 8 seconds. When damaging a generator, reveal survivors within an additional 8 meters. The next one we have is Enforcer. Move 3% faster when chasing an injured survivor. When a teammate within 32 meters hits a survivor, they are marked and have their aura revealed to you for 12 seconds. Putting that survivor into the dying state grants your teammate a 60% ledge increase for 15 seconds. Also, when damaging a generator, reveal nearby survivors for an additional 4 seconds. The last one we have is Fearmonger. While unseen, gain 5% haste when injuring a survivor more than 16 meters from your teammate, they gain 10% haste for 10 seconds. Also, when a generator is completed, reveal the aura of survivors with no cage states for an additional 4 seconds. So, let's go over survivor classes next. The first one is Medic. You and survivors within 8 meters gain a 50% heal speed bonus, and Grunts of Pain are reduced by 50%. When your ability is fully charged, press the ability button to instantly heal all survivors within 8 meters by 50%. Also, reveal the aura of injured survivors within 128 meters, and your unlock ability would be while injured your scratch marks are suppressed and your aura is revealed to all other survivors. I know I just threw a whole lot of words at you, and I'm sorry, that's why I put chapters in the description so you could listen to what you wanted to. Um, but let me know what you guys think of the updated 2v8 mode, and I can't wait to see how much this game mode grows in the future.